on the television, there's only like two or three in a scene anyway, so it's not hard. So, what, you know, in terms of, you know, your careers that you have been, you know, is there any advice that you can share today in terms of sort of, you know, maintaining to stay in a, what, what advice would you give to emerging? Plastics. <laughs> plastics. Uh, uh, One word, plastics. Word, plastics. <laughs> what movie is that from, ladies and gentlemen? The Graduate. That's a line from the movie The Graduate. That's a classic line from the movie The Graduate. My advice would be this. When you asked that question, this memory came to mind. I was an aspiring stand-up comedian in New York, and I had a car, so I got to drive the headlining comedians to the club, and in exchange, I would get to do five minutes on stage. That was the shtick. That was the way to get on stage early in your career. So I was driving this headlining comedian, and, uh, and I, I said, you know, just earnestly, 23, do you have any advice for me? He's like, yeah, quit the business. It's like, what? Get over to the right lane. There's always traffic on the TV. And this is the guy who was so bitter. We got to the bar, and he, uh, the woman, the woman, the bartender gave him a drink. He like started, they put it in a coffee cup. Drinks it over, and he said, I'm telling you, just introduce my, say my name, and get off the stage. He drinks it. Top that off, please. Like he was the worst <laughs> human being in the world. <laughs> Sounds like a comedian. He was so, so angry and so bitter. So anytime someone asks me, we like, you have any advice? I'm always thinking. With the business. <laughs> it's the worst. But it always comes to mind that story because he was so miserable. You know, it's, it's, I don't know, it is a tough business. It's, yeah, it's, if, it's, if you don't love it, that, yeah. basically that's what the guy is saying. If you, yeah. if you can do anything else, yeah. do it. Have a second yeah. backup. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that being said, if you want to do it, you can't help but do it. And, and the best advice I could give would be just to do everything you can, whether it's for free or whether you're getting paid yeah. or, you know, you just gotta put yourself out there. You've gotta keep your profile. You and what Sam said also is that, you know, you might start as an actor in the theater or mm -hmm. wherever, and then like you realize, oh, I'm really good at like directing. Mm -hmm. And then you'll go that way, or I could produce this, I could assemble a group, and then all of a sudden you'll realize within the business, mm -hmm. you have some skills that lend themselves to different positions. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of friends, or at least a handful of friends who started as actors, mm -hmm. and they are very successful writers right now, mm -hmm. yeah, more so than yeah. they ever would have been as an actor. Yeah. So it, it is definitely a point of departure. Yeah. You don't have to be an actor forever, yeah. but it might lead you to what you are meant to be. Exactly. Well, look at all the amazing actors like Joey and Brad Pitt, they're all behind the cameras. A lot mm -hmm. of them, all the famous actors are now going behind the cameras. I went to school yeah. with... Uh, who would, and he was a music theater major like me with Aaron Sorkin. Amazing. Yeah, and look at him. Created yeah. the show West Wing. West Wing, oh my favorite oh, show. That has to be one of my favorite Very good writers, a great writer. That yeah. really is, it's all about the writing, and it's just, yeah. He was definitely Funny. made a good choice mm -hmm. going into writing. That's yeah. Instead of musical theater. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. And doesn't that no, play so I'm not dancing much myself. I can't really see him as Pippin. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, and you're, you're back up too, is that you're a singer. You do perform. Yeah, 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 I was, uh, I was, uh, you know. In still a singer. Well, I'm still, still a singer. In fact, yeah. actually, I just uh, did a show, um, I just about two weeks ago, Closed the show called Guys and Dolls, which I did back. Uh, really? Yeah, Another one of my great. favorite musicals. Oh, it's one of the greatest. It ever is. I'm sure yeah. in the top five for me. Anyway. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it was fantastic. What part did you have in Guys I was a uh, good old reliable Nathan. Oh. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan yeah. Detroit. Yeah. Fun one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was great. And I did it in the theater that my parents met at and that my uncle did his first show at. Yeah. Just the same theater, yeah. Where That's I such a up. sweet story. I'm going to yeah. read it by saying I believe Sam has had sex in that theater at one point. <laughs> <laughs> no. I would never do yeah, that. Yeah, in the theater. The stage the is sacred. The stage is sacred. <laughs> Only the finest <laughs> moments will occur on stage and they will let you spread the boards. You don't bend <laughs> on the boards. I mean, that's just what it is. <laughs> Uh, the theater. Uh, well, doesn't it? You know, the theater is where it all. It's is. the mother of it all. It is the mother mm -hmm. of it all. It's it all is. live. And, I think it is. Yeah. It's and a dying art form. It's nice that Sam gets to do that every time. Yeah, we're spoiled. Right? Right? I, I haven't amazing. done a show like this there for a while, but um, yeah, it's it's the best and yeah. uh, live. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You know, the closest thing to it. 
the Q&A session at the Oz Comic Con this weekend on Friday at Saturday at the Brisbane Convention Center. That's it, right? Your tickets at OzComicCon.com. You can buy, purchase your tickets in advance or tokens so you don't have to wait online. And I give free high fives with every other. He does. <laughs> and I tell stories. <laughs> and I sing. Sing? Sure. What are you going to sing? Uh, in olden days, a pair of stockings would look down to something shocking. But heaven knows. Anything, anything goes. goes. I can't get back. We just had that in town, you know? Did you? Yeah. It's another classic. I've done that show. Yeah. yeah. Moonface Martin. That's yeah. Moonface Martin. Absolutely. Moon face. Yeah. yeah. Moonface, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm mean, just. This is just Why, so right? exciting. We're actual actors. We do so we're actual yeah. actors. The other people I saw, they walk around, they play dwarves, hobbits, who the hell knows? <laughs> <laughs> they, they aren't even know. really that yeah. small. It's not even that they're they're small. Even, it's just they're filmed that way. Camera work. They don't have to act small. It's, mm -hmm. it's all costume. Next thing you know, whoa, whoa, Middle Earth. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, they have plastered with beards and fake noses. And how to ride What's a horse. They got a job. You know how to ride a horse. You're in Lord of the Rings. That's right. So true. <laughs> I love it. Look, I, I guess I, I have to go to the territory of the fact that the gifts for the geek. Yeah. All right. So tell us a little bit. They're our guys. They sponsor us. They invite us. They're with huge Scrubs fans, and they reached out and said, "Hey, we want you to come." And they basically sponsor us to to come here. They, these are these are like cult guys. They have the comic store. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what else can I say about them other than that they're great guys and kindred spirits. Great people, yeah. yeah. Kindred spirits and uh, and treat us so well. Gift yeah. of the geeks. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get that. I don't know where their retail stores are on sale. It's in Geelong. It's in, in Geelong. In July. In Geelong. 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 In Geelong. In Geelong. But they, yeah, but they, well, you could order online. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's online now. Right? Everything's yes. online. Yeah. Yeah. Cute. We're uploading a few things that shouldn't be online. <laughs> <laughs> or should they? <laughs> oh my god. Guys, I can't take it how, you know, I'm just so thrilled to be sitting in the middle here. Wrap it up for us. Was it yeah. everything you wanted Every, to be? Oh, look, I could, I could talk all day to we you. We could talk all day to you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. The seven people but, have already tuned out, though. But <laughs> they tuned back in and they tuned back out. I'll, say, I'll come back to this later. Well, I'm, well, I'm coming back for the value over the weekend for sure. Oh, great. You know? So I want to thank you personally for myself that, you know, for talking to us at Hush Hush Oh, Bruce. of course. And um, you died. Yeah, and you were both awesome. Awesome. Very nice to meet you as well. So nice, nice to meet you both. And, and have a fantastic time. Should we do something like a group hug? Yeah, a group hug. We should, we should give oh, her a, a, a sandwich. Let's give her a kiss on both sides. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm.